we're burning daylight. Where's your favorite knife maker? I'm in the shop. <laughs> I cannot sleep. I took a nap earlier in the afternoon. And I have a hay man job. Uh, sort of rush. Birthday present type thing. Hang on. Now I normally don't like to work on the imports. But I will. If y'all have something that you need worked on, I'll, I'll work on it. Uh, this one, the handle was broken. And this is the Winchester Bowie. Uh, made in China. Here's the sheath right there. Sheath is okay. It's not a bad sheath. And these are not very, very expensive knives anyway. But what I'm going to do... He wants an antler handle on it, so I got a chunk of antler. I'm gonna put a walnut cap on it. And where I connect the cap to here, I'm gonna put a little piece of dowel pin in there. Get it all measured out. Probably have just one, uh, one pin in it. These pins came out extremely easy, which is good. And we'll get it fixed up. Now, hopefully I can deliver this tomorrow afternoon. And when I deliver it, there's a crawfish boil going on. So that's why I'm out here at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> All right, we'll see some progress on it here in just a little bit. And yeah, if you don't, uh, if I didn't mention it, it's still raining. Alrighty, we're just about there. By the time I put the epoxy in and drive this on in there, that'll fit really nice. This will be dry. What I'm going to do now is take it apart and take it over to the buffer and polish this brass right here. And I'll wait to polish the blade until I get a, this all on there so I can have more control over it. But we need to clean this brass on the inside while I can get to it. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, now I'm going to clean off the uh, tang real good and get the epoxy in and get it set. And we will have, except for polishing the blade and resharpening, we will have a finished project here in just a little bit. It's only been an hour and a half. Yes, it's still raining. <laughs> All right, we have our project finished up. Antler handle, walnut cap. I just tried to go with one pin, one brass pin right there. There it is. Everything is polished. Sharp very very sharp it was fairly sharp to start with it had some nicks in the blade down here i took those out i didn't polish this side real hard because i'm losing the uh the little mark on there Let's see how it fits in the sheath let's see i should move the camera up here shouldn't i Just like that. Now, final test. Will it cut? It will cut. <laughs> All right. Now, I mentioned before I don't really like working on imports, but. Uh, the young man that this belongs to, I'm sure his parents gave it to him. 
a few years back, whenever. And I'm sure it has some very sentimental value to him. So, in that case, I don't mind working on stuff like this. Plus, it is a family member. Now, if you have something like this you want done, just let me know. We'll talk about it. Well, there we go, right there. Now, it is now 6.30. So four hours. That's a four-hour job. I enjoyed doing it. Glad to do it for him. I will take it over and deliver it this afternoon. And like I mentioned, there will be a crawfish boil going on. So, yeah, <laughs> love me some crawfish. And I haven't had any in a while, so there we go. I just hope they do it rain or shine because it looks like it's going to rain all day again. But there we go. I'll return the old handle too. So thank you all for watching this little project. I think I'm going to go inside and uh, get me a little nap before afternoon gets here. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support. And I will be back in a few days with what else? Some more knives. Thank you for watching.